Greetings, Vault citizens. Johnny5 Alive here, your Vault Overseer, and welcome back to another episode of Settlement Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at rights in a part of the Sanctuary Reborn series that I'm working on. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, everybody, here we are at the rights in. You guys watched me build it in the Let's Build went through the whole process with me, and now we get to take a real-time, closer look at everything with some uh, AI navigation added in. So this was quite fun to do. Here's a look at it from the outside. We'll walk around the whole thing before we go on in. You can see there's a guy chilling there at the top of the balcony. Because why not? That's one of the uh, navigation points I put in. You can hear some gunshots in the background. That'll have to wait for the next episode, but we got a working shooting range, and uh, that's quite cool. We got a little chill area back here. Love all the garden work. Really came together nicely. And we have a mini little graveyard. I thought, why not? I didn't want to build a uh, whole graveyard for my settlement, but, you know, we got a few. <laughs> and I, I needed to do something with this garden area, so... There it all is. Let's go on into the inn and see what we have to find. We're open. Welcome, vault dwellers. So, go on in. A little bit of immersion right off the get-go, eh? We have a uh, person working the counter. She's going to give us our room. She's got all the keys back there. And some uh, things down here for immersion. She's making lots of caps, as you can see. <laughs> I love doing the storytelling with the OCD decorator, so I just couldn't resist putting uh, a whole yeah. bunch of caps back there. She making money off all these people. And, uh, yeah, these are... I, I wanted to decorate with people. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. This guy needs to get back to Diamond Biggest City. He's I a traveler saw. taking a room. He has a room for rent. I believe it's like this one over here or something. He stays in this room. So all these settlers are assigned to certain rooms. And uh, their job, well, this guy's his, this guy's job is to take notes. I guess he's he's on some sort of detective mission. I don't mm, know. Don't much she, care for good neighbor. She's a tra traveling. I don't know what you want to call her. This is what she came in, and I thought, hey, that looks like a good traveling mercenary of some sort. So she's trying to f plan out where she's going next, I just and wish uh, I had some she also sleeps in one of these rooms as well. I think it's this one. So this is our first room, Nuka-Cola. It's a Nuka-Cola themed room. It's the main room. And if we open up this door, there's a little Easter egg. <laughs> Nuka Bottle Man. Um, they got a whack-a-mole. There's a vending machine here. I guess it's got some stuff in here. Didn't notice that. And then we have Cappy and Bottle. A little Nuka person. Nuka Cola posters everywhere, even a Nuka clock, because why not? So it's the Nuka Cola themed room. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Um, I, I did want to play around with a few of the Nuka Cola assets, but not go overboard. I have some ideas for the future. Maybe we'll eventually get to it, but I would love to do a Nuka Cola build using all of the stuff. Everything has been decorated. We have towels and toilet paper and whatever you need for cleaning because. We're going to need a bathroom. So this this is a actual mod that adds all these things in. If you guys check this out, they actually work. It's kind of a neat feature. There we go. Our character's taking a bath. <laughs> there it is. I do have a no nudity patch for, you know, don't want to don't want to accidentally slip up on these videos. So uh, definitely have to have underwear in the game. Um, but what's interesting about these is the actual settlers will also randomly use them. They are sandboxed uh, units, so you will find people, like, I actually went through here one time and Sturgis was dropping a deuce in the toilet. Full sound effects and everything. It's uh, quite hilarious. So all that stuff works. We have stuff in the cupboards for cleaning up. Um, so things all over the, all the shelves. Time. Whoa, what is happening here? Uh... Okay, problem solved, and we are back. So, what other details? This is a reading area. We got all the awesome tales. I wanted to keep it, uh... They just collect all the awesome magazines. And we got a fish tank. Work to do. 
actual working fishies in here. So that was a nice little add-on to one of my mods. Information. I think it's an. It should be important to have information huh? in an inn. So you got your map and all different things they found throughout the wasteland that they they wanted to repost stories and things like that. Because why not? It's about rebuilding the wasteland, even. If we can't uh, get everything in perfect condition, we're going to put it up anyways. we got a smoking quarter back out here. And uh, there are placement markers. I have interactive placement markers with one of my mods. Um, roaming sandboxing settlers will come out here to smoke. And uh, they'll also take notes at the clipboard. They will inspect the fish tank. Um, they will buy things off the shelf. So there's different things that you can do with one of my markers mod. Um, which one is it? You can find it under furniture, I believe, and then markers. I think it's called invisible furniture if you're going to download this mod. But it has all sorts of things that you can get the people to do. Um, but you can't assign people to them. It's only sandboxing. I use a different mod to mm, actually give people jobs. Paper. That place so that's the basement, trouble. or the downstairs, I should say. Let's go on up and uh, see what we can find up here. Relax! We're all crazy. It's not a competition. And there's a crazy gorilla chair. Um, these these are from the Raider Pack. Some interesting-looking furniture. So up here we have the Grognak reading quarters. So it's all the different Grognak magazines. Thought that'd be fun. Some different things to, uh, you know, you need a change. You're at an inn. You need a change of clothes. You've been out there raiding. They have a change of clothes for you here. You can get yourself some coffee. We have some interactive uh, markers up here as well. And uh, yeah, we got the coffee station. Uh, this guy is assigned to just chill out. He's a traveling medic. He has a room up here as well. Um, you can also chill at this rail. So settlers that are on their break, they will just randomly come up, make a coffee, hang out at the balcony, smoke cigarettes. It's it's a quite cool thing to catch them doing. Um, now, I don't have too many settlers in my settlement yet, and most of them that I do are assigned to jobs. So you won't, we won't catch that in this video, but we will definitely in future episodes when we have it all completed and we take a look around. We'll see lots of roamers. Um, the, the five named NPCs like yeah. Sturges and Marcy and all them, they will come around and randomly use this. And spoiler alert, you guys are seeing something uh, you haven't seen me build yet. So let's not look out there. So, what else do we have in here? Hmm. What is going on over there? Okay, drug cabinet. Somebody get into the drug cabinet? Leaving a little trail. Let's open this up. Mama Murphy, you said you were going to get off the trucks once and for all. Oh man, she's really going on a binger. She's not looking too good, is she? <laughs> so I decided to do some storytelling in here with Mama Murphy. She said she'd get off the drugs. She needed the drugs to do the site. I did the quest. The first thing I did was told her, you got to get off the drugs. And she said... Can we trade a few things? She said, uh, no more Mama using... Mama Murphy's as good as her word, kid. No more chems. And no more sight, either. No more chems, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a floating mentats here. That's bugging me. I didn't see that. I can't grab it either for some reason. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's Mama Murphy. Well, anyways... I'll have to fix it later. <laughs> so this works pretty good. However, um, see, she, she wants to... She, I've assigned her to permanently stay there. But uh, she gets up, her AI tweaks out, and then she sits back down. Once in a while, I'll find it that she's kind of escaped and wandered off. So she doesn't... Named NPCs in this game, guys, don't listen too well to um, marker commands and jobs. But she, for the most part, she's she's working. She'll sit there and she'll probably go back to that pose in a bit. But I don't like the fact that it doesn't work perfectly. So I'll probably replace her with another drug addict. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> I'll, I'll replace her at some point with another drug addict. But I kind of wish I did the entire quest uh, for her, the quest line. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't done it, but... There's a quest line for her, and I've auto-completed it 
by getting her off the drugs. And I, I tried fixing it to restore the quest line, but I can't seem to get it to work. Um, yeah, so I might just disable her and she'll disappear forever. I'll put someone else here. She, she kind of annoys me. <laughs> She's a weirdo. Anyways, I wanted to um, definitely tell a story here with all the OCD decorator stuff. So I went ham in this room. <laughs> it's quite funny. And then uh, did a little trail from the drug cabinet here. Alrighty, so room number three, the love room that we built. Be my Valentine. Clothing optional beyond this point. <laughs> Let's open it up. Oh my. <laughs> Look what we have here. <laughs> Couple, um, yes. darling wastelanders here. So what's interesting is... Hey there. You look like someone that needs a drink. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Let's trade some things. Of course. So she has the A1 day shift schedule, and this is part of one of my mods. Let me see if I can figure out what mod it is for you guys, if you're interested. So she, she, she's on a dancing pad, and there's another one here for her. Uh, but she's got the day shift, and she's got the night shift. So she's sleeping right now, and when... She wakes up and she goes to bed. She's going to start dancing here. However, they do get uh, alligated, like, breaks and stuff. So once in a while, you'll find one of these girls wandering around town doing things or maybe out here having a smoke break or drinking a coffee. They do wander around. That's why I had them alternating. You can have one just sitting there permanently dancing. Uh, I thought it would be cool to have a little bit of immersion so they take turns switching. And I could have just had one, but then you come up here randomly and there's no one up here. So I always wanted one of the ladies up here at all times. And uh, that way, yeah, it just, you always have one of the ladies in the love room waiting for you to go. And sometimes you'll find one wandering around town. So one of the mods I have that gives you shifts is, uh, I think it's called Settlement Markers. And it comes with a typewriting machine. I can't really show it to you because it's in the other place that we've built, but I can actually put one down here, I think, unless it's, there's a limit to one per settlement. Typewriter station. So if I throw down a typewriter station... So we can create schedules. So the day shift, night shift, and then we have the efficient schedule. It's customizable through a holotape. And I've customized mine to be 24-7. So... Um, and then you just take that and you could give it to somebody. You just trade with them and put it in their inventory and now they have that schedule. So if I yes. talk to her, I just uh, I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. You'll see she has the efficient work schedule in her bag. That means she will stay at this counter 24/7. I could do an alternating day night shift and have her so have someone else come in here, but the chance that somebody takes a break, there will be no one at the counter. So I didn't want any chance for there to be no one at the counter. Uh, I thought it would be very important to always have somebody ready to give you a room. So if I really wanted to, I could go into my notes and just give her a day shift or night shift schedule and she'll start working that shift and you can read the schedule to figure out when they take their breaks and when they sleep and all that and you can see here um, yeah it, it, it just works it's pretty cool um, she'll take a break soon and then uh, eventually she'll wake up start dancing here she'll come back and go to bed on the other I'm side so there's another the mod that I have um, which is pretty cool allows two people to sleep in one bed so, as you can see, there's an outline ready for her. She's assigned to that side of the bed, that dance pad, and she's assigned to this dance pad and that side of the bed. And I'll, as you can tell, I also have some fancy clothing mods. Make them pretty. All right. So that mod for the bed, if you're wondering, is part of my um, Easy Home Builder. That's what it's called. We showed this off in the first Let's Build. It allows you to build homes, but it also allows you to build... Uh, beds with customizable pillows and these pillows will also work on grounds uh, on the ground people will lie on the ground you can make custom ones if I want someone to sleep on this couch it'll work there and I can assign someone to sleep on the couch and uh, yeah there's there's different ones for different various furnitures I quite like that mod because you can 
it works for sandboxing and it also works for assigning people specific beds and it you allows you know. to have two people. people been complaining a bit about the bed situation the bed situation is fine lady jeez we just talked we just went over this all right <clears throat> um <laughs> i also have a little mod called renee's renee's close that door it's nice if if anyone leaves like you'll notice that i have all my doors are closed because the settlers know to close the doors behind them. But in order to get that to work, yeah. you have to have we had a good homemaker water, doors. So good. all my doors are from a homemaker build. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. So there it is. Do I have anything else to show you guys? We have one, two, three, uh, three settlers downstairs, one guy up here. Two up there, so that's six, and Mama Murphy just getting whacked out of her skull. <laughs> and all their all these settlers have their own rooms, so he sleeps in this one, they they sleep in that one. Yeah, all the rooms are occupied. I don't think I have any extras. One, you know two, what I call a good day? One that ends three. And we have three beds down here. Actually, she doesn't have a bed, so one of these people has a double bed. That's pretty much it. So we have no room for Easy extra settlers. The, yes. the inn is fully booked, hence why it's freaking making so much cash. <laughs> um, maybe it's the ladies upstairs making all the cash. <laughs> gotta, we gotta have a little bit of that element in this game because uh, that was Fallout 2. All uh, that was all. That was what Fallout 2 was all about. It had plenty of drug users, prostitutes. Um, you name it, it had it. Uh, Fallout 2 was definitely uh, a very uh, adult game. I quite like Fallout 2, though, um, for the RPG elements. Definitely still my favorite game of all time, but this this definitely tops it in terms of uh, immersion. About that farm run by ghouls? I didn't. Is that where That's you're going to next? All right, we definitely have to... Uh, expand some more you guys so that's a look at the first building in our settlement uh, lots of detail gone into this if you guys watched the let's build and I think it was like an hour long at, at, at six times speed so this build here took me about six hours to build and then it took me even longer probably just as long to figure out all the markers but now I know how AI navigation works in this game and uh, what to do with it so the next building we do I can set up the AI a lot better a lot quicker and we can move on so I'm excited to move on the next build we're doing is to my left you guys might have gotten a sneak peek in this video you can hear some shooting coming from over there so you'll have to see the let's build on that followed up with the spotlight and that's where I'm at today. We have to move on. The first episode I didn't really do a spotlight on, so here's our opportunity to show you around town a little. We placed all these buildings down and we have intentions of uh, rebuilding them up. So some of them deviate from what you normally see in Sanctuary. This, this house is painted red, but it's the same building type. The player house is slightly modified, but it's still the same layout. Uh, it just looks a little bit different and it's green and this is going to be our armory that's going to be our weapon shop we have the uh, traditional green or sorry yellow uh crafting house that they all work on and with the sanctuary roundup you guys will be happy to know that none of the default settlers like sturges and stuff will be banging on the house anymore marcy's over there digging crops because i told her to but other than that uh yeah normally they're like repairing the house and hitting it with hammers and stuff they won't Things do that anymore because of the that. sanctuary roundup mod that i showed in episode one of the let's build so go check that out if that's something you want um and it also cl cleans up sanctuary quite nicely as you can see there's no clutter everywhere uh, and i didn't have to scrap all that myself pink house is going to be our clothing shop that's going to be our trading emporium this is going to be our med bay and I have a uh, restaurant over there slash uh, nightclub. We're going to have some singing and dancing and partying going on. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those two houses or the ones at the end of the street. I think we'd probably be good to give our uh, NPCs some homes. Maybe we'll have like Sturge's garage where he repairs cars. I was talking about having Kate's Fight Club maybe at one of these. Um, because there's some pretty cool NPC markers where you can simulate fights. And I think that would be amazing. 
But um, we have a lot of work to do here. And so far, I've only built two out of 14 of these things. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I'm getting faster at it. I think I can do about one house yeah. every five to six hours, depending on how much we put into it. So I I'm pretty excited. And I think I'm going to start with this guy next or the armory. One of the two has to be my next project. I'm just so thrilled to weaponize something or arm <laughs> armorize a house and yeah that should be cool so we're gonna skip these for now we'll come back to them when we have more ideas we'll probably just make them generic residential houses for more people to sleep in because our inn is fully booked as you guys can see see she's on a break or no she just woke up it's making everyone a bit cranky sleeping shifts but I gave you a schedule. She don't know what she's talking about. There's plenty of beds. There's another house just full of beds. She's crazy. I just she's wish I had some clean wandered water. out of her room. Does that mean the other girl has gone to sleep? No, she'll probably be. Let's see. Let's wait an hour. Things are a bit crowded. A few more beds would lift everyone's spirits. Okay, she she takes her break for three hours. Oh, we gotta go check this out. <laughs> I hear the water running. <laughs> Marcy's taking a bath. Sorry, that was a real creeper move of me. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys it works. Um, yeah, you can hear <laughs> here taking a bath down there. Can't you so she, do something to help? No one has. Oh yeah, we probably don't have much of a food. Probably have to figure out this food situation. What is it, my food at? The bed problem doesn't. Maybe maybe it doesn't register those custom beds. Yeah, it's a seventeen. Beds. We need more beds. I guess it's not registering these as actual beds for some reason. Our water's super low, our food's super low. We have 21 people and not enough of anything. Well, that tells me what I need to do before I start building more. Um, I have some stuff to fix, don't I? I'll go put some beds down, some water refineries, some farms. We should be good. She's dancing away. See, these citizens went off to their beds. They're no longer working their jobs. This place a little bit more quiet at night. Um, but it's pretty cool. So I'm having fun with the settlement markers and the building of this game. I got some things to you adjust. People been complaining but about I think once I fix my food and bed situation, maybe, maybe it'll work fine. Um, I might even have to go back to the regular beds. Not sure if the modded bed works as intended. But that's quite all right. Their schedules are working for the most part. And this place is lively during the daytime. And that's what matters. And Marcy Long is always escaping. So we're going to have to disable her from the game and replace her with an actual drug addict that will stay there for good. Anyways, all this stuff will be available to download if you want to put it in your game once we're finished. So three years from now, guys. Don't you worry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try and finish it before Fallout 76 comes out. That's the goal, and um, I'm having fun with it. So, um, anything else I want to mention? I think I'll have I'll, any mods that I use to build this will be down in the description below if you guys are looking to use some of these settlement marker mods and things of that nature. So, I, had clean fingernails. I, I think some people are on break and they're not going to bed. Or the I bed problems explain. bugging things the out. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Settlement Spotlight, guys. Stay tuned for the next Let's Build and Settlement Spotlight. We'll be going over th the next build I'm doing. And i got to get to work on the next creation for you. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily videos. And if you guys enjoy the content, please do consider checking out my Patreon page as it fuels all the content that I create on this channel. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.